given a sorted array of strings that is interspersed with empty strings. Suppose we have a stringlet, an array that looks like this. Ignore the empty string your array is sorted. It's at, ball, c, car, dad, sorted by alphabetical order. Ignore the empty strings. Find the location of a target string, for example, ball, return the index, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Return negative 1 if it cannot be found. For example, in this array, if you're going to find the target string of B, can be, fi can be found, so negative 1. Target string is not empty, so you are not going to search for something empty. No strings are duplicates except empty strings, so you're not going to have two at inside the same array. Array is not empty. Pause the video and see if you can solve it. How shall we approach this problem? Since the array is sorted, we can use binary search. However, because of these empty strings, I use the capital letter E to represent an empty string. Because of these empty strings, our array is not exactly sorted. So how do we use binary search? What we know about binary search is we have a low index, we have a high index, and we have a mid index, which is the average of the two. Now, our target is the string A. When we do the query on the index of mid, which is the average of low and high, we see the string is not our target. OK, but now do we go left or we go right? We, it's very hard to make this decision. So something we can do is do a linear search. Since we are doing a linear search, we know the time complexity the worst time complexity is definitely linear. The best case is log of n. Now the question is, if we are going to do linear search, where do we start the linear search? Do we start from the low? Do we start from the high? Or do we spend from the center outwards? I have tried both, start from low and expand from the center. Then I found out if you start from low, the code is cleaner and more elegant. So what you can do is, while a low less than equals to high condition, and your low is the empty string, then you keep incrementing the low, right? As long as my low is empty, I keep going up, 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 I keep searching up until, until I either go out of bound or I reach a string. Then you compare the string. Once you are out, compare, let's say the array is called V. You compare against the target. If the same, you return the index of, uh, of low. Now, if my low is greater than my target, since there is no, nothing else on the left, if my low is already greater than the target, I return negative 1. Else, my low plus plus, because I may find a match on the right side. Let us code it out in C++. I'll call my function func. I return a vector of string by reference, call it v, and the target string called target. Now, because of binary search, we have low, we have high. Y will be array size minus 1. If you cannot find, you return negative 1. Now the exit condition is low less than equals to high. Now mid is high minus low over 2 plus low. Now if my mid is a match, I return straight away. Now if it is not a match, but we need to first check, it is not empty, right? If it is not an empty, we do our normal binary search stuff, which is, you know, if is if mid is greater than target, let me correct the typo. If the mid is greater than target, if mid is greater than target, we go left. So high equals to mid minus one. 
else we go right, so low is mid plus one. Now here we need to do our while loop, while low, low, let's think is a high end, real low is this thing, plus plus low, by the way plus plus low is the same as low plus plus, when we're out, v low, same as target return, else if v low is greater, since there's no, nothing else on the left, so return negative one, nothing is found, else we go up, so plus plus low. Now I have a bunch of test cases, and yeah, so this is my test case, my vector, my array of strings, so these are 12 test cases, I put them in an array of arrays, similar to my target string, I put them in an array. So I'll loop through the index and a comment function called func. Yes, it is called func. And I pass in the array and the target string respectively and see if, the, if it works. Four fifteen negative one, one negative one, one negative one, zero, one, twelve, one, zero. So it works. Just in case you wonder about the code that um, you expand from the center, it looks like this. Well, the code is less elegant because you have to check a lot of uh, boundary conditions.